but it's not quite as simple as the budding tartan shakes would make us believe. The breaking up of Britain would be an enormous gamble for Scotland. So, what are the uncertainties? First, will the world price of oil stay high enough to make it worthwhile extracting expensive Scots oil? Who owns the oil anyway? If there is a carve up in the North Sea, how much oil will fall in the English sector? And how much of it belongs to Shetland? The islanders have already said they want no part of an independent Scotland. How will the multinational companies react to a Scots takeover at the moment? They provide the know-how and much of the money for the oil industry. How quickly will the costs of getting the oil out escalate? And finally, is oil already producing a divided nation with a prosperous East and a poor West? This is a problem the Scots are acutely conscious of. It was old people that swung the referendum, wasn't it? Do you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of when you used to see an old Scottish couple on a quiz show, and you get behind them, you go, come on, be brilliant, because they were Scottish and they're always daft as fuck. <laughs> Question number one. Do you think that you can sell oil for money? Do you think I could, Alec? Do <laughs> you think I could sell the oil for money? Do you think someone would pay us money? Money for the oil? We don't think so, no. <laughs> Fucking stupid old bastards. <laughs> What's the, the Norwegian best elite? It's not the ordinary Norwegian people who are doing pretty well at the moment. Well, they have an enormous... They have as much oil as we do, and only 4 yeah, million people yeah. rather than it 60 helps. million Agreed. people, so that makes Agreed. a difference. 